My name is Tom. I'm a 309A construction and maintenance electrician. I have a funny story. It was one of the first phone calls I received. I had about five applications out, plumbers, electrician, air conditioning technician, and the electricians phoned me first. So that's where I ended up. You're outdoors. Uh, you're at a different job all the time. You finish a job, you move on to the next. It's so diverse. There's so many aspects to the electrical trade. It's incredible. The responsibilities of an electrician could be number one, the initial building, the construction. It could be the uh, maintenance of the existing building once it's up and running, or you could be called in to do some troubleshooting. Something goes wrong at a factory or the, the automotive industry, you get called in and you have to do the troubleshooting. There's actually uh, three types of electrician's licenses you can get. Um, there's what we call the 309A, which is construction and maintenance, and that's the big buildings. Um, the strip malls, the factories, putting up those installations and keeping them running. There's a 309C that we call the domestic and rural, and that is uh, for people who just want to wire houses and work on farm installations. And then last, there's a 442A industrial, and that is what the electricians in the car plants have, where they do more troubleshooting, and they're always at the same um, place every day. They don't move around like a construction and maintenance electrician would. If you had a chance to get into a trade, you go to work right away and you earn while you learn. You're getting paid to go on the job every day and do your job and then when you have to go to school for training, you're still collecting employment benefits from the government. When I talk to, to young people trying to get in, I, I tell them you can work on a house, you can work on a hospital, you can work on a, a, a school, you could work at Honda down uh, one of the car plants and, and, uh, and, and work. It's just, it's so diverse, it's incredible. I think one of the greatest parts about the trade is you meet other trades people from different like plumbers, drywallers, so you can learn personal skills to help you in your daily life. Like I do my own drywall when I do my house, but when it comes to plumbing, I trade off with the plumber. He does plumbing at my house, I do electrical at his house. It's so diverse, the people you meet, the skills you learn, it, it's just one of the greatest fields you can get into of the trades.